Welcome to Branching Out. I'm Jenna Muller, a professional learning coordinator with the Kane County Regional Office of Education. Creating goals and tracking progress is a lifelong skill for students to learn. It helps students with their organization, builds their confidence, time management skills, and their self-awareness. Goal setting is important in all contents and in all grades to build ownership and improve learning. In order to ensure goals are successful, it's important to follow this process. Goals are set based on current progress, goals are monitored throughout the goal cycle, and goals are reviewed to see where additional skills need to be developed. Here are some ways to implement a goal setting process in your classroom. Discuss with your students the importance of goal setting and how it guides learning. Model for your students setting a goal for you as a teacher based on your evaluation and or own reflections. Develop short-term goals in four to six week cycles. Shorter goals allow for more check-ins, which allow for consistent progress monitoring. It's important to note here that you might have to adjust the length of a goal setting cycle based on the student's age. Elementary age students may need weekly goals attached with a longer term goal, while high school students can develop goals that span the quarter or even the semester. How will you help students monitor their own progress? Model how to check in on your own goal, like scheduling a check-in periodically rather than waiting until the final day of the goal cycle to see how things are going. Make check-ins part of a weekly or daily classroom routine. Older students can even make a reoccurring calendar appointment to check in on their progress. Determine the data you will use when you set the goal. How are students going to measure their own goal? They will measure progress based on what ruler. And then to help students create goals, ask students what they are currently struggling with based on formative assessment or other data. Then ask students to answer how they can grow. Depending on the age of your students, you might need to provide sample goals based on the data for the students to choose from. Think of planning a road trip to Disney World. First, you talk about the trip. Next, you plan when you're going to go and when you should arrive. Then you set up your GPS, which provides constant check-ins with your estimated time of arrival and miles to go. And then you measure your progress based on when you said you wanted to arrive against your ETA, which provides you the space to reflect. Have I made too many stops? And will I arrive in time to check into the hotel? Goal setting serves as a powerful way for students to reflect on their learning and develop their knowledge and skills. How will you use goal setting to help students take ownership of their learning and develop their skills? It's your turn to branch out and share your experience with us. As always, thanks for watching Branching Out.